Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're basically just going to be giving our opinion on the drama between Mythical and Rooster. I don't... I mean, I, I was going to say I don't really want to get involved, but I know full well that me making this video is, to an extent, me getting involved. But don't get it twisted, this is me getting involved as a viewer, rather than someone in this drama. So I don't want either Mythical or Rooster to essentially think that I'm going to be you know, getting involved, to, you know, for the purpose of attacking either of them. I'm going to go in this with, like, an open mind and a level sort of mindset. I'm not going to be favouring Rooster or Mythical. I'm just going to give you the points that they make in their videos and give my opinion on it. I'm not going to be paying any clips from their videos because, frankly, I feel like that's just stealing their content to an extent, even though it's fair use and all that. But, if you do want to go and check Rooster's video out, you can go and search up Rooster's name. Same for Mythical, you can just search up Mythical's name and just watch his videos. Um, I don't think they're going to be taken down, but obviously if the drama gets resolved, then who knows. So if you do want to go and check him out, feel free. Now the first point Reese makes in his video is that he doesn't really have beef with Mythical, and that Mythical's doing it for views. And Mythical um, responded to this point and basically said, you know, if he really wanted views that badly, he could make videos on bigger YouTubers like PewDiePie and Morgs. And he actually mentioned uh, the likes of Ave and myself, which I'm not gonna lie, I, I do agree with Mythical to be honest. Like, uh, there's no disrespect to Reese, but like, let's say you had the choice between making a video with someone with 3k um, subscribers with you know 85 channel views, 85,000 channel views, or for example, Ave 1.6k and you know averages like what 300 views per video it just like like uh, you know and then compare that to like what Reese 103 subs and about 12 views average or something like that I know there are some videos that go up and down and conveniently the one the mythical Reese's you know, most viewed video in the last month I'm pretty sure so well, maybe not month because I think he did a stream of like 100 views but the whole idea is it's already high viewed on your channel and you know it's on mythical so this is actually going to lead on to my next point that Reese, you know I mean I don't think he's necessarily saying he fakes his views and Reese did point this out to an extent but obviously he brought up the topic of mythical having owner accounts now I've made videos you know you know saying that mythical has alts and if I'm really being honest I I'm still you know, to an extent certain he does, but then again, like I said, each to their own, I'm not going to get too much into that. But, the point I'm trying to get across here is that Reese. I don't know if he's trying to imply that maybe Mythical fakes his views, but then I'm a bit confused because, like, it, it, it sounds like he's trying to imply that, but to an extent he does say that maybe he has real views or not. It's definitely something that you want to, you know, bring evidence into if you're going to make a, you know, point like that, which is what me and Abe did to an extent. So I think, yeah, like I said, conclusion, if you're going to make a point like that, just make sure you have evidence in your videos because otherwise it's going to make your point look very silly. Which is what I'm going to quickly talk about because about a week or two ago, Mythical made a video on Rooster and he did show a lot of evidence to back it up. This is why I commented on Mythical's video. I can't say I disagree with it because there's evidence there. Now Reese showed a couple of screenshots, but you know, they're basically screenshots of the videos Mythical's made. And the only screenshots Reese has shown was Mythical maybe asking to play Broken Craft, you know, more times than Mythical first showed. But to an extent, Mythical's point wasn't, you know, to show how many times he asked to play Broken Craft. It was more to show how you responded. I'm sure Mythical is aware, now at least, that he did ask multiple times to play, but so did I, and you were okay with me for it, so technically you should be okay with Mythical. But, like I said, when you're in drama with someone, it's hard to be reasonable like that. I know from my own experience. So, it's just something worth thinking about, because frankly, you don't want to make yourself look silly, I guess. And another thing I do want to talk about is, you know, Reese. like I said, you, you've made this point about Mythical 
being you know like obsessed with you but if you remember to my video about if you remember my video about you you know there's evidence to suggest you were the exact same and I don't know man I just I just feel like I don't it's not even calm I don't even know what it is it's just like a lot of th this happens so many times right there's there's always something that a youtuber will criticize someone else for and then like the same thing will happen to them like I could talk about go HPB laughing at pack wickers when pack wickers channels died and then I mean <laughs> well if you look at go HPB's channel you'll know what I mean but because there's no disrespect to go I just want to use that as an example and obviously with this way it's it's Reese you know accusing me of being obsessed with him when he was to an extent obsessed with me and now he's doing the same thing to mythical and I'm sure there are you know times where you've done the exact same I mean I don't know if you asked him to but mythical got a fucking PlayStation 4 just to play on your series to help you so <laughs> I don't understand plus you said to me that you would want Broken Craft to be you know a bigger series and that's why you asked a lot of youtubers to come on I know the the idea of Broken Craft is for people to just play and have fun and I respect that I really do I think that's a great idea obviously if you could do like a broken series broken like you know I guess you could say I don't know I don't know what you could say but like maybe like broken craft for minecraft broken i don't know night for fortnite where you just like sit on fortnite it's same same idea just on a different game so you can appeal to more audiences that's my advice but like why you know like invite mythical to a like a broken craft or the broken craft series you know with the idea in your head that you want it to be a big series and then just call them out for you know i guess not having enough views I don't know I don't know like like I said I've made points about mythical having less views but that was a good couple of months ago and to be honest since then mythical's views have increased I feel like the commentary you know scene has really settled in for him um so yeah I'm gonna be honest he, he started to pick it up so the next thing I want to talk about is the fact that Reese said that mythical was lying about um, when he said that Reese used to like, I guess you could say, abuse him in school on a day-to-day -day basis, and Reese implied that he didn't. But if I'm really being honest, I remember back in April when, like, it was when Tsunami first joined the MVP. I was speaking to Tsunami about it, and he agreed with me. And it was when Reese was in drama with Mythical, and I remember Reese when we had it was when we had the Forest series. Um, I don't know if those videos are still on my channel because I went on like a massive deleting spree of some of my old videos. So try and find them if you can. It was actually a good series that I did with Reese. See, Reese would always say to me that he would always go up to Mythical and be like, like to see if Mythical, you know, would do anything or like confront him. And Mythical would always pussy away or something like that. Which I, I suppose at the time I thought was, you know, funny because obviously Mythical did say that like, he was this and that on, on YouTube. So, fair enough. But, like, if we're talking about the sheer purpose of, I guess, you, you know, implying to him on a day-to-day -day basis that you want to, I guess, have a fight or, or whatnot, then Mythical's point is valid. I, I doubt you did it on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm sure you did it at some point in your life. So... Yeah, I think that's the point I'm trying to say. Now, I'm recording this, you know, not even a day after Mythical's responded. So, you know, I'm sure, you know, Mythical or Reese is, is going to make another video. I can see that happening 100%. And I know Reese uploaded like a second video with like a, a someone. I don't actually know who it was. Like, I tried to watch the video, but for some reason the audio was really quiet. I genuinely couldn't hear it, but maybe that was just me. Um, it, I think it was like someone explaining like a, a, their situation with Mythical or something. I genuinely couldn't hear it, so I'll, I'll try and watch that after this video. And I guess I could write in the comments if, if I actually find something that I can use as a point, and I'll be honest about it. Um, I think in conclusion, this is just one big misunderstanding. Like, let, let, let's just address the facts here. This started because... Mythical asked to play Broken Craft. Like, 
fuck's sake son anyways i'm gonna end this video here i think if you have enjoyed please make sure to smash that like button if you are new to the channel it would mean a world to me if you could subscribe that'd be awesome Leave, feel free to comment share the video whatever make sure to follow me on my socials in the description and yeah until next time take care have a wonderful day and peace